following the like the now international news hijab scene. Yes. What the hell happens after after that? Because I know that you've talked about you jokingly before the scene. You're like, you guys are going to get me killed. Yeah. Right. But you don't re- like you didn't probably really think that. You thought maybe I'll get some messages, right? Yeah, I, th- I mean, I, I just thought there would be backlash. I didn't think that all of the backlash would be directed at me. People were acting like I was the one who came up with the concept and, sure. you know, told everyone, all right, places, this is- <laughs> get your dick out. Like, n- no, yeah. I'm not in control of that. I'm sure. the actress isn't in control of what the context of the scene is. Mm-hmm. You, I mean, you just you, you do have a say if you're not comfortable with something but no one will ever listen to you if you say no no i don't think we should scrap this let's do how about schoolgirl? no one's ever done that before right so i (laughs) what's the when's the first time that you knew that it was becoming a much bigger situation right after that scene came out oh so it was yeah Because until then, no one really, no one knew. But I mean, was it like a a friend called you? Like I saw you on the news. So uh, I was, I was actually doing social media. I was their social media manager for the company that I worked for. Uh, So I was like on the books on payroll, not just as uh, a porn actress. Um, So I was in the office one day and all of a sudden two people come into the room and they're like, this is crazy. You have all these interview requests. I'm like, what is going on? And I checked my Twitter and it was blowing up and no pun intended and everyone was just going crazy about it like there was hate there was curiosity there was everyone had an opinion about it and amidst all that um i started getting death threats from people online who were posing as isis or isis sympathizers Mm -hmm. or i i don't even know but it it was it was really scary and after that, I kind of like started to shy away a little bit. Sure. Um, yeah, that'll do it. Yeah. Yeah. But at, I mean, at that point, my life was kind of ruined. It was turned upside down. Ruined in what way? I, I knew that there was no going back from this. So okay. for like a month and a half, I continued. I continued to be in the industry. Uh, I think I shot three or four more films after that. Sure. Uh, but then I realized like I, I was never doing this because I enjoy this. I was never doing this because... Uh, I need or want the money because the money is shit. It's fucking terrible. So Can what I was say- it that? Yeah, okay. of course. <laughs> Not on my channel. No. Uh, so what what did push you into it? It was the it was the fact that I was getting attention and mm. the validation I was getting. And, you know, people on set telling me, oh, my God, you're so beautiful. And the attention from these good looking men who I never in a million years thought would give me the time of day. So it was I was caught up in the whirlwind of that completely forgetting about what I was doing for myself and my future. 